Hello everyone and good morning, it's Crypto Inside UK here, we're back with another video. That's not a bad opener, sorry, I don't know why I did that. But anyway, we are here and we're live, um, we're looking at the Bitcoin USD chart, we're looking at them daily. And I just want to take you guys back to what I was saying in this area, 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 this is a daily chart. So when we were, well, so how long I've been doing this YouTube, I've been saying Bitcoin is going to range sideways. And... Oh, just, no one's really been listening to me. But what has happened in the last few weeks? Bitcoin has ranged sideways. Has it or has it not? No one can tell me anything other than that. I said that it would range and I did actually say I thought it would be between these support levels. I also said the bottom range would be this fib line. And I said the top range basically would be the 58k. And guess what? I've been pretty spot on so far. I did say I'd like to see it push above here and get above. I think if we did, then we could break above to new all-time highs, but we haven't been able to. Uh, and I made this a massive point in my YouTube video yesterday. Um, that This is the top, or it could have been the top, especially for now. Like, I don't know if it will be full-time, but for now, 702 line has acted as massive resistance. It's a big line in cryptocurrency. I don't need to go over that anymore because we talked about it so much yesterday. But... This is why I make these YouTube videos, guys. I don't make them for a laugh. I make them to try and show you what I see. Uh, I literally did call that I thought Bitcoin would basically dump. And Bitcoin has dumped. Uh, so don't say I didn't tell you so. If you don't watch my YouTube videos, maybe it's a bit of a sign to say. Open your eyes, guys, and have a listen to what I'm saying. I do not make it uh, for no reason. Anyway, that being said, absolutely buzzing about the news from Elon Musk that they're not going to be accepting Bitcoin as payments anymore. Um, we all know, if you follow me, that it's not sustainable. Um, the transaction fees are too high and that uses too much energy and it takes too long. Like who can pay someone in Bitcoin and wait flipping an hour or half an hour for your payment to go through? What's the point? What's the point? I'm sipping my coffee. What is the point in that? Like. It's not moving forwards. I get what Bitcoin is. I've been in the space since 2017. I had Bitcoin back in the day. I don't really have much now. I, in fact, I have nothing left. I've cycled out of uh, all my profits out of it. It could still move. I'm not saying it won't. It could be around the store of value. If it does, great. But everyone's starting to open their eyes and see it isn't Bitcoin. It's not the one. It's not the one that's going to stay at the top of the charts. And when I say the one, I don't mean there's only going to be one crypto. I mean, it's not going to be number one forever. The only way that happens is if we get institutional allowance in and we trade the ETFs of it. So we don't even have to buy and sell the price of Bitcoin, really. Uh, they'll just buy and hodl it and then you can pay for trade the ETFs. And that's the only way, in my opinion, that we see it stay around for a long time. Or we change, the, we change from proof of work to not even proof of stake. We need some kind of consensus model, a bit like the old boy XRP's got over it. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. And then everyone's saying, yeah, but... Bitcoin Maxi's arguments, yeah, but uh, it's, it's, it's mainly now uh, 75% uh, renewable energy, sustainable energy, blah, blah, blah. I think that's a ridiculous argument because why would you waste that much energy? It still takes up like the whole, the same amount of energy as the country of like Denmark does each year. Why would you waste that much en renewable energy on a cryptocurrency when we're supposed to be advancing us? That's not advancing us. That's that's a waste of energy, if you ask me. We're supposed to be, like, not wasting stuff yet. It's renewable energy, whatever. Use that renewable energy on something else. Just have a better blood in business. Have a better blood in working model for Bitcoin. It's not flipping difficult. But, yeah, anyway, that's me off Bitcoin now. But this is what I've been trying to tell everyone for so long, guys. Like, there's a reason I've been saying it's going to range in here. Because I've seen it before. I've been in this bull run the old season before. Bitcoin trend sideways, altcoins start moving off. You're going to say, oh yeah, we haven't seen much for altcoins. But believe me, guys, it's coming and it's already it's already here. Like even today, quant is up. Yeah, look, it's big red now, but still at 36% on the day. Like you, This is what alt season's about. It's not every day your coin goes up, but when it does, it goes boom. We'll go for EOS. It's back down here in the $10 mark, but we had a boom up here. And... I know the Bitcoin dropped yesterday so big and it pulled everything back, but honestly, these coins are setting up for another big boom uh, when everything decouples from Bitcoin properly. We'll have a look at Ethereum. I did say that I thought the resistance would be about 4,500 and we 
came in some more trouble about 4.4 so that was about hundred dollars off there uh, obviously all coupled with what Bitcoin's doing XRP the boy the one and only it's only positive news for XRP what Elon Musk said yesterday yeah I get it it's down on the day um, I don't want to see a daily candle close below uh, this this wedge pattern that I put in I don't want to see a daily candle close below that um, I'd like to see a candle close inside, which I still think we could. Um, a wick below is fine. We've, we've used the 50-day uh, as support, which we did here and here, and then we took a big jump up. So could we be taking a big jump up from here? Uh, <clears throat> the last time it touched the 50-day was here before that on the on the daily or here, and we took a massive move after a few days after that. So that's what I see for XRP. Um, also, guys, he literally says in his tweet, we're looking into other cryptos and we want something that is more sustainable and one percent one percent of uh, bitcoin's energy and one percent of the transaction fees and the speeds of xrp we all know are fast ridiculously fast um we know that it's 2800 times more energy efficient or is it 280,000 times more energy efficient i can't even remember i'll get too excited but please please open your eyes like i can't stress anymore like i don't sit here and pump or talk about XRP for no reason. Like I've got no affiliation with it. I'm not emotionally attached to it. It's just a no-brainer for me. It's a no-brainer. I'm here as an investor. I was here because I like the tech in 2017, 2016. People come in and say, "Yeah, you're there. You're just there to make money." Yes, I'm here to make money. Of course I am. Of course I am. We all are. If you weren't, you wouldn't put any money into the market. People come in and say, "Oh yeah, I'm here for the tech. Like I'm a libertarian. I want to get away from the banks." No, you're not. No, you're not. If you didn't want to make money, you would not be putting your money into this market. Simple as that. Simple as that. I am on a rant today. And I am buzzing, by the way. It's not a bad rant. I am absolutely buzzing, by the way. Like that tweet yesterday. Yeah, the market's come down. So what? Oh, by the way, I bought some more XRP today, if anyone wanted to know. already, It's already 80% of my bag. Uh, and I've just I've transferred some, other, some extra fear into there to buy some more. And I've sold off. What did I sell off? Sold something else. Last night I sold something else, I can't remember what it was though. My EOS, sold that. These are my only holdings left. Ethereum, XRP, Litecoin, Chainlink, XLM, VE Chain. Whether you think that's good or bad, I've been consolidating all my portfolio into XRP because I'm that confident that we're going to see a boom. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. The market speculation anyway. Um, and I'm going to speculate on something that I think could actually bring decent returns. Let's go into what Ethereum's done. Let's just say, okay, so let's say this move... <laughs> Let's go from where do you want to go from? Someone take me a, a mark marker point. We'll go from where are we? We'll put it on the four hourly because it looks sick when you put it. Like if you look at it here, like oh that looks hard, doesn't it? That move looks hard. So let's say there to there, but it's a hundred percent move, guys. Since what April? Or we can go even further down. Let's go here. Let's go here. 236% move since February the 21st. Let's have a look what XRP's done. February 21st. Is here. Here. So since February 21st, not even XRP's bottom. We've had a 273% move to the top. 160% move just to here. So we're not even that much behind Ethereum. And Ethereum's like right, right at its peak. It's been performing the same sort of way as Ethereum. But just because it's not been slowly moving up, it seems like it hasn't been doing anything. Like people just get so caught up. If we go from here, we make an example. Let's go from March the 20th. Um, where's March the 20th? Here. Go from there. March the 20th. There. Bang. To where it is now, let's go for there. We're up one hundred and ten percent since March the twentieth. If you go from there with uh, XRP, March the twentieth to exactly where we are today, we're up one hundred and fifty-five percent. So we've outperformed Ethereum even to this point. And this is what people don't see because it's not just a slow, gradual increase. They think it's not going anywhere. Look at that same. Same time period, we've made more of a percentage on, on Ethereum. And look how much more we've got to go to get to where I, I go on about Fibonacci extensions and retracements all the time for a reason, guys. For a reason. Please, I think people are going to start listening to me more now anyway, like because the show's over for Bitcoin or it's closed. And the only thing that can save Bitcoin is when 
when or if Facebook come out and say they're putting Bitcoin on their balance sheet. But with an announcement like that from Elon Musk, especially drawing people towards the environmental thing, I don't know if they even will now. Even if they have got it, they might sell it. No joke. So the move up to where <coughs> Ethereum would be is like here, 762 further percent from where we are now, uh, $11 XRP. Just <sighs> what, what else needs to be said? Seriously. What else needs to be said? Couple with that, we've got what we we're near we're in the middle of May. We've got Flare Networks coming in the end of June. Um, I can't say any more, guys. I literally can't. Like we've looked at the total market cap a little bit. Didn't really talk about it, but the total altcoin market cap. I did exactly what I said it did. It would do. It said I said it could wick down and touch the previous all-time high. Guess what? Wick down, touch previous all-time high. Like I, I tell you this every day. Uh, I said I didn't really want to see. Um, the total market cap come down below the all-time high, but it did. We had a candle close below there. It, using the 50-day again as support, it did, did say it could do that. Oh, my gosh. I'm a wizard. I'm a wizard. I actually am. Like, I keep telling you guys this. I'm so buzzing for the market today. Um, I'm going to have to stop because I'm just rambling on. And But look at this. Last time it touched last time it touched the 50-day moving average, let's have a look at the percentage move that we had. We had a 75% move last time it touched the 50 day, which would take us to 74.9 would take us to $2.14. Or if we go from this one down here, if we have a proper decent breakout. What's this move? 308%. Where's that taking us then? And this is why I keep saying things that I say, guys. You can never really predict the timings. But the market rings pretty similar every time, so I can't even get up high enough with this chart. Uh, so 308% would take us to $5 XRP, and it is going to happen, guys. Like, how many times do I need to say it? I'm not a financial advisor, it's not financial advice, but if you've got any belief in me and you have been following me all the way, my personal portfolio is massively, massively XRP now. I'm straight up and honest. I've told everyone in my one-to-ones the same thing. I don't like to reveal it because my personal play, and I think that people need to, if they really want that information, then it's, it's something that they can buy off me, basically. But I'm telling you all now, I've told everyone in my one-to-ones they can vouch for me. 80 to 85%, maybe even more of my portfolio is XRP. Uh, and it's not because I'm in love with the coin. It's because it's just a no-brainer investment for me. You've got... All the wild card options like global reserve currency, CBDC is being built on it. Um, just off the technicals, in the last bull runs, it's flipped Ethereum in positioning. So that would be a $500 billion market cap for XRP. Where would that take us? Oh, I'm getting excited. I'm getting excited, guys. I'm trying to contain it because I'm trying to be a bit more professional. But what are we on? 4.4, billion. And that that was on 500 billion, but let's even say it flips it now. Let's put another zero on there, put another zero on there. That's a 12 dollar $12 XRP. What, do I, what else do I need to say? Twelve dollar XRP will take us up into this range here, guys. I cannot say any more. I literally can't. That's it. I'm done. Done with this video. I hope you will listen to it. I hope you will enjoy it. But all my days, like, if it's not hit you in the face by now, like, it, it's never gonna. So. Maybe you stop following me or something. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. If it's not hit you in the face by now, everything that I'm saying, watch my last TikTok about CBDCs. Watch what's going on. Just have, just open your eyes to what's going on like in the world, what we need as a civilization. The banks aren't going away. The governments aren't going anywhere. They need a solution. They want a solution because it's going to generate them more capital. I don't understand, like, if you don't get it, I just... And if I'm missing something, please someone just tell me because it's driving me a bit insane at this point. And I'm really just trying to help everybody or just at least help everyone see what I see. Yeah, I'm going to, I am actually going to stop here because I'm getting, getting too excited. Getting a bit, maybe I've had too many coffees, I'm not sure. But anyway, take it easy, guys. As I say always, uh, peace up, A-town down, as Usher would say. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.